And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our final meme tier Monday deck. We're going to be playing Zoe Wayfinder, our last chance to get a winning record with one of our meme tier decks. And I feel pretty confident in this one being able to do it. So we're going to be playing Kinku Wayfinder that has the allegiance that for four mana, you summon two one cost allies from your deck. And they can be any two allies and that includes champions. And you can put in the same champions. We do have the ability to put in two Zoes into play from a Kinku Wayfinder. But we also have the ability to kind of reset our Kinku Wayfinder. We have some ways to, to uh, put it back in our hand with like Retreat and Monastery of Hirana and um, Navori Conspirator. So we can, we can recall some allies a couple ways to replay it. So we don't only want Zoe because we'd run out of one mana cards. So we're going to have a few more one mana cards in here with Navori Blade Scout, of course, also being an elusive, which elusives are going to be a big part of our deck and picks as well. Um, yeah, so Green Glade Duo and just the other elusives, that's how we're going to be winning this. Um, we have a lot of ways to buff up our elusives with uh, Keeper of Masks and Green Glade Elder um, and things like that. So we're going to be trying to... Um, yeah, just kind of gets a, a good elusive chain going here. And we even have Morning Light for some nice buffs on the elusives and a Sneaky Zeeble in here that can stun some enemies and we can replay that. It's a good size elusive being a 3-3. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to win some elusives, win with Zoe. Not, you know, we can be pretty aggressive, but we're not necessarily just an aggressive deck because we can get a bunch of elusive damage in, in the late game with a nice combination of cards. So let's go ahead and try it out. We're going to go play our five games in normal with Zoe Wayfinder. All right, Vladimir Brom. We are winless against Vladimir Brom today. We're 0-2. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess, yeah, because we've lost ten times. Two of our losses have been to this deck, and I think four or maybe five of our losses have been to the Demacia Landmark. So besides those two things, we've been doing great today. It's kind of a weird hand. It's not like anything that I'd want to play. Like, like sure, we can play a Blade Scout attack for two, and that's it. Then it's a 2-1. Um, and it's like Keeper of Masks. You know, like That's going to be a great card in the late game. We don't really need that right away. Very odd hand. Okay, I like this. We got Zed. Zed is awesome. We can have Zed on turn three. And I'm going to keep... I know we could have played Picks first, where Picks could buff up Zed, but I want to keep Retreat Return available, so they go Culling Strike like that. I go Retreat, and then I have the one extra mana for the Return to put Zed back into play. So that's why I didn't play the Picks. Do not fear the Shrouded Path. I have many faces. There we go. I found my family, my blood. Destruction. Round start deal heart. one to everything. Well, Pix is an O2 for a reason, I suppose. Yeah, I guess Pix is really good with Playful Trickster, isn't it? Because, yeah, you can attack him with Pix, use Playful Trickster, get it out of combat when they block it. Do I want to retreat Zed or stun that thing? I think stun that thing. Burn them all. Ooh, Kinku Wayfinder. How can Roman Kinku Wayfinder? First step the hardest. It's nothing personal. 
Have you met my shield? Looking for this? I guess I just don't have to take seven. I, I wanted to take seven. I guess we just don't have to. I think no matter what they would have, I would be able to deny it. Okay, there we go. Awesome. I think picks would. I think they should make picks elusive. It's already zero power. It should just be elusive. Fiora Zoe. We'll keep our own Zoe. And go with that. Green Glade Elder with Navori Conspirator is a lot of fun. I'll just trade Zoe's. Because theirs is better, theirs is prismatic. So I'm, I'm glad we could trade our regular one for their prismatic. That's a good trade. Plus, while I was going to be able to hit them with the Zoe right away, that, that I was worried about you know Zoe with uh, Fiora being in their deck and everything. Traditions are lost if not Unfortunately, that was three non-units in a row. When, you know, we want units here for Gr Green Glade Elder to buff up. I could stun, but it's not like the life steal matters. It's just it's four damage. We can we can just take the four damage. A single combat, I'll go Twin Disciplines plus three. No greater gift than knowledge. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. This is kind of bad for me. Definitely feels like they have single combat, right? How they like sit here all the time. Definitely seems like single combat, like if I try to just retreat the Green Glade Elder. Our deck only has 11 spells in it. It's mostly units. Well, that worked out pretty well. Another prismatic Zoe. That card's so good. No. Looking for a daring escape. Make that thing a three four. Hush should be rough. I guess we would trade there. Okay. It wouldn't be that bad. Oh, cause, no, because, yeah, if they have Hush, I would just retreat there. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is good. This is good. So, basically, like, they like if they have one combat spell, whatever combat spell they use to make theirs better, then we retreat ours. Yeah, they bless the entire on that one, so I will treat this one. Of our 
But now, how I'm dealing with this Sparkle Fly, I don't know. What do we have to deal with that? Are we playing Hush? No. I only have Concussive Palm, and that doesn't really deal with it. I mean, I can, I can keep, I can recall Concussive Palm. That only gets me so far. Okay. Twin Disciplines, that's what I needed. I guess I should have done that that last turn. I was I was kind of planning on bouncing the the Green Glade Elder to be honest, but um, you know now I wish I would have done that last turn to keep them from getting this super cool star chart. I don't like my chances. I I want Kinku Wayfinder or something. We did we played a ton of Green Glade Elders this game, but we always always only had like two units in our hand the whole time. Unfortunately. But I also just don't know what we really do against 7-7. Elusive life steals. We maybe need Hush. Um, so we had to hope they block their correct thing for me. And... I still have some fire. Hope that they also don't have any Hush or anything like that as well. Yeah, yeah, Monastery. That's that's our best draw step, right? Monastery that allows us to keep bouncing the Concussive Palm. Should I just be conceding this game? Like, do we have a chance? Should we play it out? I think the opponent's kind of lagging a little bit. I would, you know, like, it's like four or five seconds before they do anything. I think they're kind of lagging a little bit. We should... We should probably have the five mana bounce one of your things, bounce one of their things card. What's doing over there? You call that sneaky? <laughs> Don't want any trouble. You know, they're a Fiora deck with Demacia and Targon. They have to have a whole bunch of protection. Like that's what their their deck is. So I I can't really see this working. But what other chance we got? The last couple expansions have added in a lot of elusives, just in, in general. So yeah, there there is a lot more elusives right now. So we can concussive palm for a while. Not sure if that really plays into their hand though. Yay, Pinku Wayfinder. Also, yay, Green Blade Elder. Come on, units. Yes, good. Just, I just want allies. I don't want to give them plus one, plus one. Okay, good. No greater gift than knowledge. Another ally. That's a good one too. What was supposed to happen there? I 
Unless we try again. <laughs> yeah, maybe Morning Light's not worth it in the deck. Maybe it should just be like, you know, the seven mana card. Um, you know, the seven mana elusive that gives our, all your cards plus two, plus two. So, you know, that would have been an Ionia card. So we would have hit there. Yeah, Morning Light's a lot easier to cast than the seven mana card because you can use spell mana on it and, and everything, but I mean, that, that does mean you're going to be missing some. Like, you know, you, you see it right there. Like, that that is a real cost. So, any any card that you play that's going to make you miss your Wayfinder, it does need to be pretty important in the deck, and the Morning Light probably isn't that important. This one's trouble. It will be done. I'll take care of this. Okay, so we need to try to set up, like, Green Glade Duo plus a bunch of things. I'm gonna reset this. I know we could reset the Kinku Wayfinder, but I, I want to bounce this Green Glade Elder with having these cards in hand, having Green Glade Duo and Zed and that kind of stuff. Traditions are lost if not passed on. Glory, courage, excuses for war. Okay, let's see. Sneaky Zebels. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Intimidating Roar is the worst case scenario. Okay, it's not Intimidating Roar. That's good. Really hope this works. Okay. That's fine. That's a good sign, because like maybe that's like their only interaction. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. Who you calling Fuzzball? I am the blade in the darkness. I'm gonna put this keeper masks in. Male students, rise warriors. I don't know if like the order really matters. Yeah, I don't think the order really matters. You lack discipline. I put these like so like if they want to use like life steal barrier like while they're at 18, um, I'm putting these things first for the for the life steal barrier thing stuff and then. Uh, Putting the elusives afterwards. Such little lies. Okay, cool. Another another retreat. We'll take that. Put them from 20 down to 5. And that's what we mean, like, our deck's kind of a, a combo deck with the Green Glade duo and everything. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. I honestly don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. I guess I just pass. Because this right now may, makes my Green Glade duo not, not die. Okay, so that makes my Green Glade duo die. Oh wait, wait, they're not gonna—they're not gonna be stunned. Cause Swain's not leveled up. Be 
will be done. Think before you strike. Courage masks the heart from fear. Kinku, hold fast. Puts me out of five. <clears throat> so I can try to open attack, or I can cast this morning light. Probably worth it to cast the Morning Light. I think so. Let's do it. The seven mana Ionia card, you know, like we'd have the mana here, so it'd probably be a little bit better. But this does make everything lethal attackers, right? All three of these will be able to do five damage to them. Because I can I can cast a concussive palm and make the Green Glade duo be able to do five also, if need be. So all three can do five damage. Come on. Dragon's Rage? Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's a thing. I don't know. I don't I don't think this works, but I don't have anything else to do. I guess we can try it. I will break. Victory awaits. I will Should have just opened attacked. I guess I didn't play around Dragon's Rage. I, I, yeah, I would, I would do the same thing again. I would play that main phase. I think that's worth it. I think it's harder for them to, to kill you if you play it main phase. And instead of open attacking, Timo Victor. That was the main question. Was a concussive palm. I like these other cards. You know, I, I like going uh, Blade Scout here on turn one into Conspirator. That's definitely good. And I'm always a fan of Twin Disciplines. You can do a lot with that card. So while not ideal, still better than the alternative. They'll never see me coming. Now there is no prey to stop. Basically, do I want to save like Conspirator to reset Wayfinder, or do I want Keeper of Masks after we Wayfinder? You know, which one of those do I want? Stay safe. I'll take it from here. I'll keep Keeper of Masks. Quietly now. Cool. Join the glorious evolution. Ah, the man with the glowing bee. Extra hands. Do not make me harm you, small child. Oh, you! Oh, you. Another brilliant design. Let's stun him. Okay. We'll stun that too. That's fine with me. Let's stun that too. I'm gonna buff up the thing that's injured, of course. New keyword, stunned. Strike quickly. Never mind. Got a Hexcore Foundry out of their hand. That's too bad. I'd like them to play Hexcore Foundry. Ooh, Greenglade Elder. What are they challenging? Old Sneaky. Probably challenging old, old Sneaky. You'll find you a formidable foe. Electroplating completed. Fury. And they can make 
Alright. I should maybe cast the Greenblade Elder. Yeah, I should have cast the Greenblade Elder. Oh, no, they did not challenge Sneaky. Interesting. Let's do it like this. So now they don't have the elusive blocker. So I'm gonna go Blade Scout, then Wayfinder, then Keeper. Oh, never mind. Do I lead with the duo and let them know, hey, you need to kill duo? Yeah, I guess I still lead with duo. Just too important to lead with that card. Darn, another Neandroid. Another elusive blocker. Fearsome. Fearsome. Lifesteal? Gross. Everyone here? Let's go. No, not picks. That was the only one drop I couldn't hit. You know, like we had two Zoe's, two Blade Scouts, and one picks. Because obviously I can't attack with picks into Victor. But a Victor, you know, like a, a Zoe or something would have been good. What? They just took it all? They didn't block? They didn't block? Zoe, Victor. So we thought that we were going to have a winning record. We we were playing a game that, that we uh, were probably going to win. It was uh, the end of turn four, but my opponent gave up. Because this is normal. You sometimes have opponents that just give up super early. And so for those of y'all on YouTube, instead of just having an early game like that, but we had, uh, you know, Green Glade, the Green Glade duo with Navora Conspirator a few times, and we were pumping up a bunch of things in our hand. It was going to be pretty awesome. All right, anyway, uh, let's see. As far as our hand goes, I mean, obviously, I really like Zed. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep the Zed and the Conspirator. Greenglade Elder. I said Greenglade Duo, but we did have Greenglade Duo, but Greenglade Elder was what was buffing up all of our stuff. The previous game. Do you think they have, like, one damage things? Like, I guess I'm allowing them to get a gem by waiting. So good news with Wayfinder is we have one Morning Light, in, or we have the the Morning Light in hand. So that's that's the Targon card. Mm, they're gonna be playing like aftershocks and stuff. Let's make it a five four, and then you know they'd still have Hush, but then I would have like Concussive Palm to try to help save it too. There's always a way out. I don't like the Sparkle Fly card. It's been annoying me. Can you improve perfection? System upgrade. Fire if nothing moves. Full speed ahead. Okay, we'll make that trade. Two mana card for two mana card, plus we got rid of that gem. Can you improve perfection? Mystical levitation requires concentration. I'm just gonna stun this thing right now. I don't want them attacking with that mentor and doing the whole plus two plus two bit. Plus, this gives me the tail of the dragon to block these things. I wanted that. If you want to live. Eat. 
what you want you wish to learn. All right, not a daybreak. One of those. I was planning on going Wayfinder, but you know what? Let's go with Zed. Because we had the three mana for the Twin Disciplines if we play Zed. Good. Clear out their board. Oh, I guess we're not clearing out the Zoe, but whatever. I can block Zoe, but... So they have Concussive Palm or Twin Disciplines. I think those are the two spells I've played this game. Yeah, why would, why would they not just cast the Ignition and just... Keep that, I don't know. And we know one of them is those are the only two cards, right? Twin disciplines and uh looking into the future, I see purple. Extra hands never hurt. I think it's just those two, Twin Disciplines and, and Concussive Palm. I don't have room for that. Should I be like casting Morning Light here? I hope they grab Concussive Palm so I can deny it. Need to clear up space. Traditions are lost if not passed on. Everything in Targon is just burst. Everything's burst speed. Alright, we'll we'll try the morning light now. There we go. Looks like that'll do it. GG's. Okay. Got the last win. Three and two. And there we go. Zoe Wayfinder. 
So as you could see, we could be kind of aggressive, but we were winning a lot of, like those games that we're winning were usually, um, you know, kind of later, your turn seven, turn eight, turn nine, something like that, like where we put a bunch of elusives in play and strike for a lot. I did like the recall stuff that we had going on, and it did kind of make me feel like that Ionia could have a cool, um, you know, recall type deck. And, uh, you know, we didn't get Monastery at all, but the Navori Conspirator, that card looked good. Um, and we talked about this a little bit, you know, with the Monastery Fizz, that um, I was pretty impressed with just uh, recall stuff in general is better than I, I thought it was going to be. And so, yeah, just recalls and elusives. Um, you know, picks looked pretty weak. Uh, but besides that, uh, besides that, I liked our deck got to do some some cool stuff like retreat was like always good like retreat was awesome twin disciplines was awesome um concussive palm was pretty good but wayfinder was great i didn't like the picks at all i i don't know if you could play something else in the one mana spot i don't know if you can play you know solari soldier sparring student um something else i have been i have been happy with spell thief by the way just i'm not saying necessarily this deck needs spell thief but i have been impressed with spell thief as far as new cards go um, sparring student is kind of interesting because if, if you, you know, sparring student would be a 3-3 three, three if you pull it from the, uh, um, from your wayfinder because it does, you know, it sees you summon all the allies at the same time. So it does turn into a 3-3. Three, three. All right. But anyway, that's it here for Zoe wayfinder. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you thought of these decks today. What else you want to see on meme tier day? I have some more meme tier donation decks to get to, but those of y'all on YouTube, give me those ideas. What else, like from the new set, do you want to see uh, some meme tier decks? Uh, I always love seeing your comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching. Some Zoe Wayfinder, and I'll see you for the next video.